Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the Happy Chuck Programming channel. And in this video we will be discussing 3JS uh the 3JS uh JavaScript framework. So let me first show you what 3JS is. Let's go to this website called 3JS org. So Java, this 3JS is basically a 3D library and it lets you do 3D uh, animations and games and stuff like that. Okay, so here's the website. These are featured projects that you can look at actually. But we will actually be looking at examples for now so I can show you what you can do with 3JS. Okay, let's look at some cloth animations. As you can see, there's a piece of cloth on this white stick that is moving, uh, that is uh, just moving around with wind. And if I turn off the wind, as you can see, it just stay, it gets still again. And when I turn on the wind again, it's moving again. So this is one thing you can do with 3JS that is very cool. But let, now let's look at some other things like um, animation. Yeah, see, as you can see, there is a player and it is walking and you can make it start running also. Look at that, see? Let's show the skeleton of it. As you can see, there's a skeleton of the player. And as you can see, there's also a shadow. So using all these 3JS libraries, you can make these animations. And this is what we are going to be covering in this new series. As you can see, you can make it faster and slower. Now let's go to a different one. Uh, this is also a good example of terrain, and as you can see, they're using a Minecraft terrain layout where the blocks and when you press the W button, you fly forward and you can move your cursor around to look around. And they've also added some fog for some nicer effects. Really nice. You can even go through and go under the terrain. Looks kind of weird, but you can do it. <laughs> now let's go back. There we go, we're back to the surface. Now let's look at some other ones. This is some normal terrain, but there's lots of fog, as you can see. It looks really cool. You can make some really cool uh, adventure 3D games with this kind of terrain. Amazing. Let's look at some other ones. Uh, what is this? Oh, wow. Look at this. As you can see, there's a spear, there's cubes, and there's a, a custom uh, shape. Or geometry and they also have a reflecting reflection of what is around them which is really really nice this is some more terrain and you can do all this in 3js and as you can see these objects right here are colliding with the terrain and so that this is this is all the things that we're gonna start doing in this tutorial series of 3JS. This is some cloth again, as you can see, and I can even move the arm like this. Really, really amazing. And also, if you want to look at the code, you can just click View Source in the bottom right and it takes you to a github page and it shows you all this code okay there's also a rope as you can see 
There's a ball attached to the rope. Some really amazing stuff right here. And if this will be just amazing to learn. Um, I think this just shows you the lights. The different types of lights that 3JS has. This is the spotlight. There's also point lights. Uh, hemi spear lights. As you can see, there's a cool bird animation too. Oh, this one's also pretty cool. It shows you a 3D figure. And you can change all this like glossy, smooth texture. Uh, wireframe. And it shows you the frame. As you can see, there are so many vertices around the 3D object. And that will be important to know as we start. Um, there's a reflective one also. As you can see, you, you saw this earlier in the other one too. Where it's just reflecting what it's, what's around it. Really, really cool. These are some shapes. Really nice. Um, there's also some more animations. And you can make it angry. You can make a sad surprise. You can make it punch, jump. Uh, you can even change its states like you can make it dance. Or you could kill it. See? So, yeah. That is... TJS. There's also this. Oh wait, we else wait, where did I go? Okay, anyways, let's learn how to download this library. That means you have to go back to the home page and when you're on the home page just click this uh, download button. And it starts downloading the 3JS master.zip. Okay, so I am back and uh, the so the the file is now downloaded. And so it's right here. And let's move it to the desktop. Uh, did it move? Yes, it did. It is a uh, Where'd it go? There it is, okay. So, let's open up the folder. And it will unzip it. Okay, it's unzipped. Now I have to find it again. There it is. And now, we're in the 3JS master folder. And in here, you can find examples of stuff, but we don't want that, so... To get the 3JS library, we go inside build, and you can get the min folder, the JS folder, the module folder, but all we need is the the JS folder. But before that, before we move it somewhere, let's make a project folder, and right here, I'm going to rename this to yt 3 js series and this is where we're going to keep our f so now let's move the 3js fo uh, file into the, the the project folder and you can call that project folder anything you want okay so now when you open up atom editor um, there we go, and then open up your project folder. To do that, you just go to File, and click Add Project Folder. And go to Desktop, and then click the, or wherever you saved it, and then click Open. And as you can see, it's there, and this is the, the whole library. It's most likely not the whole library, because it's probably much more than even this, and... Let me show you how big this is. 
This is forty seven thousand seven hundred seven hundred twenty eight uh lines of code. That's amazing. Okay, anyways, to create a new uh to create let's create the index HDMI. So for to do that you click on the folder on the left and click A. And so uh, this is where you enter the path, and we're going to call it index.html. As you can see, it's saved in there. Okay, so now we need the HTML skeleton. And in Atom, the amazing thing is that you don't even have to remember the skeleton. All you have to do is, in the blank page of your HTML file, you just type in HTML, and then... You'll see this, and then you click enter, and boom, there you go. You get your HTML skeleton already. Let's title this, uh, 3JS series. And in the head, let's add our 3J, in the body actually, sorry, let's add our 3JS file. And you don't even have to remember how to do the script source thingy either. Like, you don't have to keep typing all this. It's super easy in Atom. You just have to do script, SRC. And it gives you a script source. And just in the source, you just type the source. Which is 3JS. So we have included this library. Now let's do command S. And we have the index HTML and the 3JS file. The last thing we need is a JavaScript file. So again, click the folder and then press A. And then you, we can do made.js. And as you can see, we have our JS file. And let's just do a console.log for now. Uh, Hello world. Let's save that. And we also have to add it to our index. And let's call it main. Actually, we have to type main.js. Command S to save it. And we should be good. So now let's start the server. And Let's go to that thing, that page, 127.0.0, and let's see if it logged it. And as you can see, it said, hello world right here. That means your code is working. And yeah, so that is the end of episode one of our 3JS 3D JavaScript framework series. And hopefully you look forward to the next a video where we will make our first 3D scene with lights, shaders, and some spears, a floor, and a cube that will be rotating. So, goodbye guys. Hopefully you like this video. And until